In this brief tutorial on introduction of proofs, I'd like to talk about the major features of proofs and, and kind of a general way to approach most proofs in Euclidean geometry. Uh, first thing is, every proof, especially at least in my class, every proof that we do in geometry should have a drawing. And so you can see the drawing that you have segment AC and segment CD. So every proof should have a drawing. And that's the first thing, you know, number one, let's say. Number one, have a drawing. Number two, and I'll put a number two over here, um, you should have some given information and something you're trying to prove. The given is what we start with. That's our premise. And then the prove is our conclusion. And so the prove statement is where we should end up. And essentially, the given is going to be the first step in my proof, and the prove statement is going to be my last step. And speaking of steps, we like to do our proofs in a two-column form. So we can make a, uh, what's like a T here, and we're going to have two columns here. The left column will be statements, and the right column will be reasons. And we number these steps um, accordingly. And so our first step is generally going to be given. So I'm going to rewrite what's up there. B is the midpoint of AC and also BC equals DC. and our reason is given. So before we do anything in this proof, in any proof, our proof should have at least three things. Number one, a drawing. Number two, a given and prove statement. And now I'm going to put a number three over here to the right. A two-column setup with statements on the left, reasons on the right, and we're going to number. And in fact, we know that the last step we're not sure what number it's going to be, but ultimately, we're going to prove that AB equals DC. Of course, our goal is to find out what comes in between. Now, I already happen to know how many steps this proof has. It's a fairly easy proof. It only has three steps. So I'm going to go ahead and put those numbers in now. Ordinarily, uh, we don't know how many steps a proof has. We just go for it, and it has how many it needs. The number one question I get when students approach proofs, other than they hate proofs, is that what do I do first? I don't know where to begin. So my advice in my introduction to proofs uh, tutorial is to look at the drawing and see if the drawing gives you anything, and also look at the given statement and see what it gives you. In this case, the drawing, uh, uh, along with the given information, gives me something very important. It, it says B is the midpoint of AC. Well, that tells you something. If B is the midpoint, it's in the exact middle. And generally, we give you information in the beginning of proofs that uh, allows you to assume something that you wouldn't ordinarily assume by looking at the drawing. Like right now, when I look at that, B might be in the middle, it might not be, but the given information says that it's definitely in the middle. And so what I should do is I should mark that. And so mark that AB equals BC. I should also mark that BC equals DC. That was given as well. And so I'm going to mark that with something different. I'm going to use blue here and put BC, uh, which is this one, is equal to DC. So I have two sets of segments that are equal. But again, I haven't established that AB equals BC. That comes from knowing that B is a midpoint. So what does a given give me? It gives me a midpoint. What does that lead me to believe? It leads me to believe that AB equals BC because that's what, what a midpoint does. What's the reason? It's definition of a midpoint. By definition, a midpoint is in the exact middle. Since B is in the exact middle, then AB equals BC. Now, how could that help me get to my goal? My goal is proving that AB equals DC. Well, I notice in my first two steps, I have, I have an AB and I have a DC. Here's the AB, here's the DC. And look, they're both equal to the same thing. 
DC and AB are both equal to BC. So here's a BC, here's a BC. So when two things are equal to the same thing, in this case, DC and AB, both equal to BC, that's called transitive. Two things equal to the same thing are equal to each other. And so they're equal to each other, AB and DC, because they're both equal to the same thing. That's a transitive property. And now we're done with this proof. We've accomplished our goal. AB equals DC. That was our goal. That's what the proof statement was. But again, in this introduction of proofs, I wanted to highlight a few things. Number one, have a drawing. Number two, you should have given and proof statements. And number three, two columns set up with statements and reasons, starting off with your given and hoping to end with your proof statement. And then when it comes to how do you approach your proof, Look at the drawing, see if there's something interesting like maybe a linear pair or vertical angles. But in this case, we look at the given, and the given says B is the midpoint. Well, the midpoint tells me something very particular, and I want to put that in my proof usually when the given has such specific information. So what does a given give me? What does a drawing give me? That's where you begin in a proof. Make sure you have a drawing, a given and proof statement, and then a two-column setup.